here we have my newborn cloth diaper stash. So over here we have the Kawaii Baby cloth diaper stash. Now these are the Velcro ones. The thing I don't like about these is the Velcro does tend to wear in the wash. I got these secondhand, but they were brand new, which I really appreciated. So it wasn't as worn. And you have these little straps here that you can stick them to the Velcro thing to go in the wash. This way it doesn't wear as easily. And then once they're out, you can just snap them on as this one is. They're so tiny. Um, these ones are a little bit bigger than these ones, if you can see. I would say they're about the same size, but this one's bulkier. So that's the Kawaii Baby ones. I did like these. I like the fact that the Velcro, you can really adjust the size to your baby perfectly. Another thing kind of similar to the other diapers, if you saw my first video about this, is they have the snap. So if your baby's a smaller baby, you can snap these two on here and it just makes the diaper smaller and then a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger full sized. So this way it really fits your baby from the very beginning. Uh, that would be my favorite thing though, the size that you can kind of change it throughout. And I didn't really have a choice on the prints because they were second hand, but I am glad they're gender neutral. So these are the cloth diapers that I bought brand new and these are the Alva baby cloth diapers. I absolutely love the brand Alva Baby. I have nothing but amazing things to say about the brand Alva Baby. I love them. The These are very small because they're newborn. Again, they have the adjustable size down here and then for the leg and the waist. Let me show you what I have. So to start with, all nine of these diapers in total cost me 36 Canadian dollars. Now that is incredibly amazing, especially for someone who is kind of looking into cloth diapering and starting off with it. I was super pleased with that price. Let me explain why it was that cheap. So I have some Alba Baby ones like I was showing you, and these five I bought brand new from the Alba Baby website. These ran at about, I think it was $5 each, and this came with the insert as well that just came with it. It was just a microfiber insert. These are the Kawaii Baby ones that I was telling you about, and these ones I actually got off Bidding Wars secondhand, but they're brand new. The mom, it just didn't work out for her. She decided not to do cloth diapering, so they're brand new, and I bid on, no one else bid on them, so I got them for a dollar. Four brand new cloth diapers with their inserts for a dollar. What? Amazing, right? So I was super pleased with that price. So $36 in total for all of these and my newborn cloth diaper stash. So to be honest with newborn cloth diapering, I started off with newborn disposable diapers. This was because being a first time mom, I listened to what everyone was saying, which is not a great idea. Everyone was saying that your baby's gonna poop and pee so much and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, but I was home anyways. So personally, personal preference, I totally get some people wouldn't want to, but I was home anyways. I wouldn't have mind throwing them in the laundry. It takes like an extra five, 10 minutes. And honestly, my daughter slept a lot like most newborns do. So I definitely would have had the time because I would just watch Netflix while she was snoozing. I know sleep with the baby sleeps, but that just doesn't really happen, okay? So now that we've talked about the cost, let's get into more about these diapers. I opted to get gender neutral. Now the reason for this is because I like to resell my diapers. So I have bought diapers secondhand, tried them out. If I didn't like them, I would resell them and make my money back. These I'm going to use for other children we're going to have. And if not, or after I'm done, I'm going to resell them. Uh, it's a huge kind of market right now. People are buying secondhand cloth diapers because they can really hold out if you take care of them. Because of this, I would suggest buying cloth diapers with snaps. So these ones have the snaps all along, whereas these ones have Velcro. Now, why do I suggest snaps over Velcro? Snaps tend to last longer than Velcro, especially in the wash. The Velcro does tend to wear, but these diapers luckily have a little spot right here where you can just, oops, sorry, right here where you can just clamp it down when you go in the wash. And that way the Velcro will be protected on the other piece of the other the other piece of velcro the velcro will be protected in here and it won't wear out as much in the wash super simple just put those two little tabs in and chuck it in the laundry so that is a pro to the snaps but 
it's not a huge deal. The part about the Velcro that I do love is that you can really fit it to your baby's size, like I was explaining. So your baby's legs are in here and you can tighten it to as much as you want. Whereas the snaps, you are restricted because if your baby's too big and the snap ends there, it ends there, you're kind of screwed. I mean, it's not the biggest deal. It's not like you're gonna have a ginormous, like 30 pound baby, but you know, it's just like little things, right? So places you can resell your diapers. There is an abundance of places. Craigslist, Kijiji, check out Facebook. There's lots of cloth diapering groups. There's lots of mom or parenting or caregiver groups where they'll give away things on bidding wars. We have a pay it forward group in our area and people are always giving away cloth diapers that they've tried and just never got to it. They never got around, they didn't like it. I've got a lot of things for my older baby stash that have been for free or for super cheap on bidding wars. You don't have to buy brand new and you don't have to buy newborn cloth diapers and you don't have to buy cloth diapers But for me, it was a great idea to save the money and economically friendly So why not and it gives me something to do plus they have the cutest stinking little prints Alrighty, these are both pocket diapers. So this one's the alpha baby and this one's the kawaii baby Pocket diapers, which means they have a little pocket Essentially all you do is you take the insert and you stuff it inside the pocket one thing I will say is the Alva baby ones right here, the pocket, especially on the newborn ones, is really small compared to my hand and arm. So stuffing them is a little bit of a struggle compared to these ones that are a little bit wider, as you can see. So I can show you the difference. This pocket is elastic, so it's just like this. It's pretty small, right? And this opening is not elastic. This part is an elastic, so it's just fabric like this. And that is an advantage for stuffing it. So it makes it a lot easier to just put my hand and stuff the diaper. I don't have to struggle with it, which is super handy. And I find, you know, when you're stuffing a bunch of these, it does come into play. I mean, it didn't take me that long either way. Another thing about this that is different from the Alpha Baby is this one has the waterproof lining a little bit at the front here. I don't know if you can tell, maybe they have it in a different color. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so it has a waterproof lining, if you can see that right there. I know you can't see my face in half this video, but really we're talking about the diapers, not this weird face. So that protective lining is there and not in the Alva Baby cloth diapers. It is just the microfiber. Why does this matter? I don't really know because I've never had it be an issue on these or these. I've never had my daughter leak through the top, but I'm sure it has come up because obviously they put it here for the reason. So if that is something that your child is wetting and leaking through the top, maybe I would suggest buying the Kawaii Babies or trying them out. The Kawaii Baby diapers are wider than the Alva Baby diapers. So you, I don't know if you can tell, but the back, through the back, you can see that the Kawaii Babies stick out more. Now again, this might come into play depending on the size of your child, but it's not that big of a difference. In my experience, the Kawaii Baby takes longer to hang dry than the Alpha Baby. I've heard a lot of people say this, so I know it's not just me, but again, it's just something super minor. Some people like to put their uh, cloth diapers in the dryer. Some people like to hang dry. It's just kind of preference. For me, I do a little bit of both, but if I am hang drying, it takes a little bit longer for this. Again, that's not something that's a deal breaker for me. I really don't care. I have enough to go around, so it doesn't make a difference. These are both very similar in the fact that they're super affordable. Both of these brands, I would say, are the top affordable brands for great quality, amazing quality. Cloth diapers run really expensive. You can get these for about $20, whereas these ones with these brands are about $5 to $6, I believe. And that was something that was super important to us on a budget, being a young family on a one income, minimum wage. So. That was something that we really, really looked into, and by we, I mean me, because Dayton couldn't care less about this. <laughs> then we have the inside. So I have found that the kawaii baby ones are very soft and very fluffy on the inside. And these ones are also very soft, but they're not as thick on the inside. I would say you can feel, you know, how thin it is. It's not as fluffy. It's still soft, of course, but it's just not as fluffy. And I find that it's easier to get off the nasty stuff from here than here, which is funny because you'd think the softer one and the fluffier one wouldn't, but it does. So if that comes into play for you, then maybe the Kawaii Baby. I mean, it sounds like I'm favoring the Kawaii Baby. I'm not. I, I don't really have a favorite. 
I mean, the only reason I picked these brand new was because I did a lot of research on it and I have a spending problem and I went on the website and I just loved the, the prints that they had. So that's why I bought those ones. And the Kawaii Babies didn't have as nice prints at the time, but at this point they both have super nice prints and super affordable around the same prices. So really it's up to you what you want. Something great about pocket diapers is you can really adjust the absorbency. So if your baby is a heavy wetter, you can just double up on your inserts. Simply just take two inserts and stuff two in there. It will make it a little bit bulkier, but this way when you have a heavy wetter, or maybe for bedtime, or for nap time, or maybe you're going on a car ride, it will really hold everything in there and it'll really absorb. Something to help with absorbency if you're having some issues is consider buying hemp or bamboo inserts. They tend to absorb better, but it takes a little bit longer for them to absorb, which is perfect for pocket diapers because they have the microfiber lining which means that the microfiber can absorb it right away and then the underneath the bamboo or the hemp can slowly absorb it. Now these newborn stash, the newborn stash that I have does not include any hemp or bamboo liners. That was because I was a new cloth diapering mama. I didn't know about it, but my bigger stash for my older baby definitely does have bamboo and I'm looking into buying hemp now. Bamboo was just super affordable at the time that I bought it and it was on sale so I did buy it. Um, the inserts come, they just came with the diapers but the ones that I got with the Alpha Baby diapers are super super soft and like fuzzy. Like super soft. They almost feel like the minky kind of diapers that you can get. I love it, but I don't know how absorbent they would be compared to the microfiber one that I have. So I mean, just try them out, see what you like. You can resell them if you don't like them. It's not that much of a loss. Again, cloth diapering is a big industry. It's really big right now. And I would say like you will get your monies back, if not like half of it. So why not just try it? Try it secondhand. If you're not too sure, try secondhand, see how you like it. If you don't and didn't waste like hundreds of dollars and if you like it, then great. You can buy brand new after you've tried a couple in your stash. So hopefully you found some insight on my cloth diapering. Again, I really don't have a preference between Alba Baby or Kawaii. I just bought Alba Baby, so for me, I kind of support them more. But Kawaii Baby is just as great. Again, they don't always come with the Velcro. These are just the ones that I have. Some of them come with the snaps just the same as these. They don't just come in solid prints. They come in all different like dinosaurs, rocket ships, unicorns, rainbows, I don't even know. Just like the craziest, coolest things. There was even like sushi ones. So cute. I just, I love cloth diapering. It's so fun with all the little prints. Thanks for watching my newborn cloth diaper stash. We'll see you next time. Bye. I gotta pick these all up, damn it.